In today's video, let's talk about college recruiting. And specifically, we're gonna talk about should you consider playing a club sport instead of a varsity sport? So if you're new here, I'm Coach Dan Blewett. I'm a former pro baseball player. I played small time D1 before going on and turning pro. And look, in my career as a baseball player and then as a travel and sports performance uh, academy owner, and now here as a YouTube educator, I've seen the whole gamut of a sports career, my own, and many, many athletes that I've trained. And I know what's important at the end of the day. So I want to talk about club baseball, club hockey, club track and field, whatever club sport might be available to you, why you should maybe consider choosing club instead of varsity. And this is, I know, a taboo conversation because everyone wants to go D1 and everyone wants to have, you know, that college, that university across their chest. But the reality is your sport and your college experience are extremely important. Those four or five years or six years or eight years of you go to med school, those are very influential times of your life when you're going to grow up, you're going to be an adult for the first time, you're going to be living on your own, doing all sorts of things as you become an adult. It's an extremely important chunk of your life. And there's a lot of things that you'll give away choosing a varsity sport and things that you'll give back choosing a club sport. So I want to talk through some of those today because I know a lot of you, if you're on the college recruiting trail, you're trying to figure out what do I really want? So let's talk about club sports. So first, let's talk about the things you gain by playing a club sport instead of a college varsity sport. So number one, you get to choose the perfect school for you. Now, unless you are an absolute animal of an athlete and any school is potentially recruiting you, you're going to have to choose your school based on which ones are allowing you to play on their, their roster, right? You might not have a chance to go to school at Auburn because Auburn doesn't think you're going to play there. Or you might not be able to go to UMass because UMass isn't interested. As a club athlete, you can pick any school you want and try to make the club teams. Now, understand that there's many club sport teams that are very good and especially the bigger schools, where you might not make that team either. So you do have to choose wisely here. But if you're good enough to play in college as, at a varsity level, you know, whether it's D3 or junior college or whatever, you could probably make the club team. But again, it's still a bit of a roll of the dice. None of it's guaranteed. But again, you're going to get to choose whatever school you want by choosing club. And the other thing that you don't give up on is the major of your choice. And this is a really big, and the second point here is choosing a club sport, you get to go do pre-law. You get to go do pre-med. You can do engineering. Many of these really difficult majors are not available to you as an athlete. Now, schools aren't necessarily going to strictly prohibit it, so you absolutely can't do engineering. But the problem is, and the things that you don't really maybe understand yet, is that many of the requirements to graduate, the higher level classes, are going to be in the afternoon from like one to four o'clock. These important lab classes for engineering or for whatever, biology, that you cannot miss. But that's when you're going to have baseball practice or football practice or basketball practice pretty much every day. So there are many majors that are completely incompatible with the schedule of a scholarship athlete. So if you decide to do a club sport, you get to pick your dream school for school for academics first, and you get to pick whatever major you want. And that is the first priority. Your club, you know, your club sport will be secondary to that. Number three, there's a much smaller time commitment. When everyone says, oh, I want to go D1, I don't think as enough people understand that you're going to be up at 6 a.m. for workouts, then you're going to close a class from 8 to 1 p.m., then you have a quick lunch, then you're going to be at practice from 2 to 5 or 2 to 6, then you're going to have to go to the study hall afterwards, and then you finally get home at like 8 or 9, and that's your free time. That is a rigorous schedule. You're doing basically a full-time job on top of your regular student duties. It's a lot. Being a D1 athlete, you are owed to a very strict schedule. As a club sport athlete, you're going to get all that time back. Sure, there's still going to be requirements and, and practice here and there, but it's something you choose. And it's going to be way of a shorter practice schedule. There's going to be way less required demands on your time. And there's going to be a lot less rigorous travel schedule and game schedule. So you get to be much more of a full student, having the full student experience with a club sport rather than the varsity athlete experience, which is its own special thing in itself. Don't get me wrong, but it's a very different student experience being a, a D1 athlete, especially. And it's still different being an athlete of any division in the NCAA or NAIA. So understand that you're going to get a lot of time back and the full stu student experience back by choosing club sports over a varsity sport in college. With that, you're going to get to devote 
much more time to school and much more time to your social life. You'll also get to go on vacations like spring break. I never went on a spring break as a D1 baseball player. We had a spring break trip where we would go play baseball in Florida, but that's not like having spring break. We're still just playing games and we have curfew and team lunch and team dinner and team breakfast and you know, workouts on off days. That's not the normal spring break experience. You know, you can go study abroad. You could go do all these special things that a varsity athlete absolutely will not get to do. So understand that you're going to get the full experience, which we mentioned, but you're also going to get to devote yourself completely to your studies, completely to your social life, all these different things that can really help you get on track to graduate with honors, a high GPA, and get into the grad school of your choice if that's the path that you want to go on. And lastly, you're still going to get to compete and play and move your body and enjoy the sport that you grew up playing. That ultimately is a really important thing, even if you don't get to compete at the highest level. And for many of you out there, you probably understand that you're not going to turn pro. And for many sports, there isn't like a substantial pro level for you to go into, especially in women's sports, which is unfortunate. And they're doing some things to fix that. But there are way less opportunities for many of you in a pro sport in general. So planning for your future after college makes a lot of sense, right? It's certainly not guaranteed, no matter how good you are, that you'll go pro. And so just getting a chance to continue to compete and play, be outside in the sun, you know, be with your friends and all the camaraderie, you'll still get all that. Like you're still in a team, you still get to play your sport, all of those social and physical benefits you're still going to get as a club athlete. Now let's talk about some of the things that you're going to miss out on if you choose club uh, a club sport versus a varsity sport. Number one, superficial stuff, better facilities. At a lot of the smaller schools, the facilities can be similar to high schools in all honesty, but at some really great schools, you're going to miss out on the best facilities, some really amazing weight rooms, also amazing coaches who can be lifelong mentors, right? And really important people developmentally. A lot of my coaches were really, really important people in my life. My college strength coach was one, you know, I'm so thankful that I was a D1 athlete that I got to meet him, be in his weight room, even though our weight room was, you know, wasn't state of the art, but my mentorship with him uh, was, it, it changed my life forever. And so I'm really thankful that I got that. And that's something that you'll miss out on as a club athlete. You'll still have access to coaches, but they're usually your peers you'll have just a lesser coaching experience as a club athlete compared to a varsity athlete. So that's something to consider. The next thing is seeing how good you can become and really maximally testing yourself by competing against the best. You know, being really competitive is something that's kind of in your blood, I think. And for those of us who are really super competitive, not only against others, but with ourselves, because we really want to see how good we can be, we want to play at the highest level. And you want to play D1. You want to play at the highest D1 you can. You want to turn pro potentially. And that's sort of a personality trait. And if that's something that you're pursuing, then maybe you do want to play the highest level of college varsity sport that you can. And I completely support that. That's what I wanted. I wanted to see how good I could be. I desperately wanted to be a pro ball player one day. And I'm thankful that I got the chance to do that. And I was willing to do a lot of hard things to get there. You know, all the early morning workouts, the workouts on days off, the twice a days, all the practice, you know, being embarrassing and a lot of stuff. When I was a freshman, I wasn't very coordinated almost. You know, my teammates actually thought I was going to get cut in our freshman fall just because I was still like a kind of gawky, I don't know, like a baby deer a little bit until I really like grew into myself and became bigger and stronger and faster. And I'm thankful that I got tested. It really, you know, as far as, like I said, we all go through this sort of child into adult phase in college. And for me, becoming a man in, in my college weight room and on the field, playing against other D1 athletes was really important for my development personally. But everyone is different and being a competitor at the highest level might not be that important to you. And if it's not, then you should really think about what the big benefits are of your sport. Is it really about competing or is it really just about having fun and swinging a bat or you know, shooting a basketball or throwing the football around, what is it that you really want out of it? Is it the, com the camaraderie or is it the competition, right? You can still get competition at lower levels and have a great time. I've experienced this now playing slow pitch softball as an adult. I love it, but it's not competitive and that's not what I want anymore. I just want to move my body, be around other like-minded people, get some exercise, be in the sun, swing a bat, throw a ball. That's what I get out of it. And I can totally see the merit doing that in college as a club athlete. So you just have to weigh how competitive you are and how much you want to test your own limits as an athlete. And the last thing you'll lose out on 
choosing club sports over a varsity college sport is that shiny label that you get to have, which is I get to call myself a D1 athlete. You know, I played at UCLA or I played at University of Minnesota or I played at Augustana or I played at University of South Florida. You know, that's something that makes people proud. They accomplished this thing. They got to say, I played at this prestigious place and I played there and I, I went out and wore my alma mater's name across my chest. There's definitely some pride with that and I don't want to take that away from anyone. But ultimately, that is a little bit of a flimsy thing because I'll tell you what, as someone in the real world now, no one cares what you did in college. They really don't. No one cares that I played baseball. I know you do because it gives me some credentials to teach you the game, but no one in the real world, if I were to introduce myself as a former pro baseball player and then be rude to them, be a jerk, no one cares. Like it's not enough of a thing. It's just a fun extra thing, right? If Dan's a nice guy to someone new he meets, oh, that guy, Dan, he's a great guy. Also played some pro baseball. How cool is that? That's literally the only benefit you get from this label long term. If you're already a nice person, you're doing some good things in the world. It's another cool thing to have on your resume, but it's never something that should, you should be chasing to fix your self-esteem or to fix your self-image or to like pull yourself up so you feel like you're worthy of other people's affection or love. That's not what this is for. My achievements were for me. I'm blessed to have shared them with my parents, my family, my friends. I've made tons of memories and met so many great people and been mentored by so many different coaches. That's what I'm thankful for. The D1 label, the pro label, it's not that meaningful. It's not. I'm proud that I earned it because I worked very hard to have both those labels, but I don't go around throwing them around and it's not something like I'm not an arrogant person. So it's, and it's, and never repaired my self-esteem either. I just wanted to compete. I love the game. I played for myself and I played to see how good I could be. And so I don't think you should worry about what if I lose out on this label of calling myself a varsity athlete at the D3, D2, D1, JUCO, whatever level. I would just tell you that it's not that important. And what's really important is your happiness, your future success in life, that you get your schoolwork done, that you have a great college experience and that you're happy. And if you feel you can be happy and accomplish all those things without playing a varsity sport, wonderful. Play the club sport. If you feel like you really want the varsity sport and it's available to you, go do it and don't look back, right? I just want to help you weigh your choice here in this video because there's not enough credence given to club sports because they can be a really special, wonderful experience and it can give you the competitive sports itch that you are probably looking for. Thanks again for watching. Leave a comment below and subscribe if you're new here to the channel. And I'll see you here in the next video.